So, for the past four weeks, if I'm not mistaken, by the time of this recording, I've checked out two different um, wireless earbuds on my channel, the Aki EP T25 and then the Sony WF-1000X Mark III's. And I've been very happy with the purchase of these two, even though the Sony is a little bit expensive for my part, I've enjoyed it a lot. Now, the problem with the Sony's for me is that they are not comfortable when you're using in bed or you know just using it for a long period of time but overall it is pretty comfortable but not the best out there so then you might be like well how about the airpods it's the same something with the silicon tip for my ear has been very itchy and ends up just not being that comfortable for the uh, for the long run and um you know it is a good earbuds but i personally do not like the airpods pro and then the Aki suffer from the same thing because it uses the same silicon design and also have you know like the A apple airpods stem slide so it, it it still isn't that comfortable but sounds wise i've enjoyed all of this pretty much some um earbuds here just kidding. this is not a earbud but the reason i have this here is because today we're looking at the razer hammerhead true wireless ear earbuds earbuds and um okay so I purchased this with the uh, intention of using this with my phone to play the newly released Genshin Impact and uh, I, I bought this because it has that low latency mode, it's well, it's Razer, I, I trust their sounds, it's not that bad but coming from a daily driver of the Razer Hammerhead Bluetooth back in 2018 when they were first released, I am honestly really disappointed that this is the earbuds razor is selling today now this earbud was first released back in 2019 october if i'm not mistaken and honestly i'm a bit late this is very long it's september 2020 it's almost a year of this release and sure if that's the case i would give this a pass <clears throat> but razor is still um, reselling this exact product on their website now so, Razer is still selling this on their website 2020 because they are releasing the new colorway, the mercury and the quartz, and mean, which means that people can still buy this. This is what Razer still think is their flagship true wireless earbuds. Now, are you going to focus? So my phone is not focusing. Okay, so now, I've used this back then in 2018. This is Razer's flagship back then, their Hammerhead series. And um, this is the Razer Hammerhead Bluetooth. Again, I've used this so much back in the day. Look at how scratch, like dirty the um, earbud is. You can see that that's gross. Um, the earbuds itself has tons of those scratches. And like overall, it's just not as pristine as, as it used to be. And it really shows, right? But the reason why I love the uh, Hammerhead Bluetooth so much is because it sounds amazing it sounds amazing battery my battery life was eight hours and um it just fits very nicely on on your ear uh, it's very comfortable with the clamps on the shirt like uh, overall this is so good the only problem i have was it was using bluetooth 4.2 and you know delays on gaming step but as an overall daily sport with gaming feature i mean if audio um, comes to mind this is a really good earbuds and this was released in 2018, a year before the Hammerhead True Wireless. So this video could easily be like, is it worth the one year upgrade? And honestly, if you're really happy with your Bluetooth, uh, Hammerhead Bluetooth, and you have no reason to change it, I do not think the Hammerhead True Wireless is a good one year upgrade. But, you know, let's take a look at the design. So the shell is this peel shape kind of um, design here. It's very slim, like if you compare it to the um, Apple AirPods is almost as slim, just the Apple AirPods is slimmer than, you know, comparing to the Beast, the King himself. This is very thick, very big. But yeah, it is a slim, slim case. <clears throat> and it is not bad comparing to what I used to bring from my uh, Hammerhead back then. This is a very, very big change, guys. But the problem doesn't come here. So the case, yes, it does feel cheap. It feels plasticky. The texture is very slippery, opening this case could be hard, the um, ledger isn't really that good. 
but it's not that bad uh, i think it could be used with a different texture maybe a little bit of a softer plastic like on the soft touch on the wf or even like the cheaper plastic on the aki all right so in the case overview we have that very nice razor logo i love this minimalistic logo um they don't have the logo here i think they do let me see on the knee nope nope there's no case on the hammerhead box back then but that's a very nice branding and now um, we're charging using type c so thank you this was using micro back then i don't know why um this was released when type c was already being mainstream so it was weird that it was still using micro i hated it but that's fine so now we can you know open the earbuds and reveal the earbuds themselves and you know honestly um led indicator so now it's on pairing mode it's gonna blink 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 until it's gonna go static when it's connected but once you take out the earbuds and take a look at it let me focus oh, it's very hard to handle this thing so and um they honestly don't look that bad at all they look really really good and um yeah they're on ear which is why i'm so weirded out on why they don't do in ears because yes you might be like is to keep the case slim well aki itself the company that makes aki ept25 is almost the same thickness it's a bit it's a bit thicker if you can see it's a bit blurry but it's a bit thicker like there it's a bit thicker but they they manage to fit an in-ear design and like comparing this side by side they're almost the same height oops i cannot handle this thing they're too small they're almost the same height they're almost the same thickness but somehow hammerhead just couldn't make it in here like imagine if this hammerhead is in here i would i would have been so happy to own um the hammerhead true wireless because it's a really really good really really good earbuds in terms of design it's comfortable because of the on ear and i have this silicon tip installed i feel like if i don't use the silicon tip it falls off out of my ear and it's not comfortable for a long run so i keep it on and um if you own one of this and uh you put it back in your case if you don't have the silicon tip inside when you shake it it'll make a rattling noise so if you don't want that rattling noise if you think it's annoying put a silicon top uh, silicon tip in and um they kind of learned a lot from their mistakes on the hammerhead original like they kind of smooth out the plastic on the side there as you can see no more of that sharp design and um it's just an extended stem version it looks cool i i think the hammerhead looks cool and i don't have let me give me a moment i don't have my original airpods anymore but we do have the i12 so if we compare i12 to hammerhead side by side let me give a bit of a lighting here because i think we need some lights if you compare the hammerhead to i toss side by side hammerhead is roughly the same no, hammerhead is a bit shorter and um it's a little bit yeah it's, it's smaller all around and my ear fits better on the hammerhead compared to the i12 now i just noticed the lighting is so much better i should have done this from the beginning of the video oh my god okay so let's go to the overall <coughs> functionality of this so we're going to talk about sound quality connectivity comfort and um, longevity so the problem that i have with the hammerheads true wireless so far is battery life so let's see it's already blinking um red means that it's it needs to be charged now it's already um, green so it's static means that it's connected and um the problem with the um hammerheads is battery life i've gotten I, I use gaming mode a lot and the hammerhead to 70% volume so that I can play my games, right? And I get a solid three and a half hours maybe. That's like the best I can get. And then uh, the, the battery maybe charge like the case only give it like an extra 12 or 14 hours, which is really bad numbers when you consider things like the Aki give you 24 and 24 hour combined with earbuds and then uh, the Sony WF give you like eight on each earbuds and an extra 24 on case it, it's very small numbers especially on how big the case is compared to the aki which is why i hate the case design i don't know why i feel like they could make it in here make it smaller maybe next is bluetooth so it's using bluetooth 5.0 which means uh connectivity the range is if i put my phone here and go downstairs i should still be able to hear my music playing 
but usually uh, it will stop when I go to the kitchen which is like downstairs on the back of the house so really far I think it's not as far as my Sony's or my Apple's uh, but Sony is still the furthest that I've, I've been I've, I've been outside with my phone upstairs this is actually so good but the Apple's um, doesn't didn't really get that same treatment it only went to downstairs outside but not as far as Sony and on this one if I bring it outside it, it, it just gonna cut off really easily and um, recharging speed <clears throat> so uh, I got like a pretty fast recharge speed because it's such a small battery it's rated for let me see so about 275 milliamp hour that's small guys that's tiny and um so charging speed is pretty fast i can get it to green maybe in, that, in like two hours or even less than that actually um sound quality so sound quality wise when you compare things like apple again i don't have the airpods anymore but when you compare it to things like the airpods i remember how airpods sounds like the airpods is kind of airpods is it doesn't have the bass you know it, it's pretty flat to me it sounds pretty mediocre but hammerhead sounds richer sounds fuller like the easiest generic way to explain how it sounds like it sounds fuller sounds more richer and the bass is there especially if you use the um silicon tip and get a even better seal in your ear they sound very good actually for on ears and then um we have the Gaming mode, so the game mode uh, makes it to 0 0.8 millisecond delay, so basically none. I mean, there is delay, but I don't think a lot of people can notice. But I have that train ear and train eye from playing a lot of rhythm games, so there is low latency, but there's like it, it's it's not low enough for me to say there's no delay. But if you squint hard enough, you can find it. But if you're just playing the game, you will not notice the delay. So I would give this a solid pass. Very good gaming mode. And um, yeah, like overall package, I don't think Razer did bad here. But when it was released, it's good. Like back in 2019, I think this is a very solid earbuds. The case might feel a little bit cheap, but it is generally a very good earbuds. But with things like Aki EPT25 right here for cheaper uh, and have more like... Um, you know more battery better sounding yes no gaming mode but i don't think that's a big deal right now and also battery indicator and um they both have ip rating this is ipx5 this is ipx4 if i'm not mistaken but yeah the aki is just cheaper and better in a lot of ways you just get the gaming mode on razer but aside from that there's no reason for me to pick razer over the aki it's just so good and um, that's my problem. They're still selling it for $99. And that's expensive. Especially with so much budget um, TWS out there right now. It's like, I, I, I don't know. If you want gaming mode, you can go for something like the Redmi Air Dots or a cheaper year, but for like $70 that's still offering game mode. This is just too expensive. That doesn't offer that much feature for it. I I think I think it's too it's too still. It's too normal in twenty twenty. In twenty nineteen, I think this is fine. But because we have so much great earbuds now, this is way way too normal. And um, yeah. Okay, so for the question that I've been trying to reach here is the Razer Hammerhead Bluetooth. A true wireless, sorry, is a worthy one-year upgrade compared to the Bluetooth. My my solid comparison would be what you're looking for. If in-ear sport neckband is your thing, then sure, keep using the Bluetooth because I don't think this is a worthy upgrade. But if you want something more compact, more easier to carry, and in my opinion, a much more comfortable design, then the true wireless is a solid upgrade but do realize that you're losing audio quality but you're gaining game mode in exchange and i think you're getting a much more solid battery compared to the eight hours on the um, hammerhead so yeah that's my review on the oops, upside down that's my review on the razer hammerhead true wireless i'm trying a new kind of um quality looking here it's not as out as back then i'm trying to be more close up to the camera trying to show more details and uh, if you guys like this more, make sure to hit thumbs up, leave a like down below, leave a comment, I'll probably answer them. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.